by which you are provided an audience as by the we are making an opportunity to make the people let know that there is a provision in our shastras so that is not as the, the incentive stage of benefit or punya that we are having now we have to promote it by further learning practice and getting the benefits so rupa each and everything that can be a different subject that should be a different topic at all if it is a rupa nirnaya rupa nirnaya one class we have to take and uh, telling all types of nirnayas that i have memorized or i know it in my memory and that is not a proper classroom at all so rupa nirnaya second is yoni nirnaya we can fix the yoni there you want the pumana astri male or female that you can decide that is yoni nirnaya ojo nirnaya fixing the immunity or the physical sturdity resplendence of the child is known as ojo nirnaya ayu nirnaya you can fix also the ayush of the child unless it is disturbed by unforeseen factors like accidents homicide and suicides those things we are we cannot design the whole world so that is known as ayu nirnaya guna nirnaya how should be the honesty response how should be the fraternity response how should be the broad mindedness and mercy of the child how should be the family affinity how should be the domestic affinity with all people how should be the social affinity how the person should be free from uh, envy violence and other injuries various things how he will be free i have already told three qualities how he will be free from that how he will be ever free even if it is exposed how he will not be victimized how he will transform others or trample others if he is challenged so these qualities are known as guna nirupana or guna nirnaya that we can practice that that is guna nirnaya then medha nirnaya fixing the intellectual status of the child and vritti nirnaya vritti nirnaya is behavior vritti means behavior what is it behavior includes professional behavior social behavior various other things how he will live in this world so this everything will be possible and the next thing is some sort of designing of that this is the first level of designing second level of designing is to get a biological bulk of the child without any problems what are the problems pinta cheda abortion that pinta cheda abortion is also possible prag jata premature child shastra jata cesarean vikalanga physically handicapped buddhi cheda mentally retarded these are the various possibilities so a person can be physically retarded mentally challenged and a person can be premature delivery and there must be hrid bandha also there may be hrid bandha is a blue baby mastishka bandha is neural blockage hrid bandha is a blue baby so innumerable these possibilities this is a biological asset i have told about other various things like characteristic determination intellectual determination gender determination everything this is for the bulk it should be proper at least first base so to avoid abortions what are the mantras to avoid various other cesarean and other deliveries what is prerita there is also prerita shishu what is prerita shishu the shishu which is produced by induced labor by electromagnetic inductions that is also dangerous to the intellectual this thing see by getting all of this uh, technology and other thing you are seeing that the baby is still complete with two eyes two ears two hands and legs but intellectual corrosion happens and spiritual adaptability and receptivity is much damaged nobody is counting that if your person is brought by all of this artificial process the natural intellectual strategy and processing will be affected at least 200 times at least 200 times to the minimum so we have to avoid by nature at an extreme end that there is no other option we have to take care of the shelter of the technology and any other device that is an ultimate end. that should not be a regular thing that should be exceptional not exemplary exemplary models are created they should be created by tradition exceptional unavoidable model should be created by technology so we want both but not frequently in rare occasions we want them so this is the second thing then the third dimension <coughs> there are few children dushta dura dushaka balahina phalahina murkh in each and every division there are one or eight classifications not in dushta dura in the first classification one or eight like rupa nirnaya yoni nirnaya one or eight and the second thing garbha cheda then pitta cheda buddhi cheda vikalanga one or eight this dushta dura dushta this is one or eight certainly it should be a total class it should be a total syllabus which should take a classroom monthly twice or thrice we have to conduct classes like this It should, it should be a syllabus. Otherwise, you see, everybody is getting a peripheral grasp and then just going. 
So they have to wait, even though they may come to Hyderabad, but they should wait, they could come frequently and they should wait till they gain that knowledge. It should be repetitive, it should be preparative and it should be with more zeal. Otherwise this, uh, you, you are fading, you are losing the benefits. Number two, I am also losing the benefits. Unless this lesson is learned by you, you are useless. Unless the lesson is taught to you, I am useless. Unless it is taught and learned that knowledge itself is useless. What is the purpose of knowledge? So this thing, dushta means a person who is born biologically good, having good color, good yoni, everything etc. But the person is dushta. He is good to us, but not good for the society. Dura is a person with whom we cannot live at all, who is separated. And Dushaka is a person who is loved by everybody, who loves everybody but hates us. He is Dushaka. He is opposite to Dushta. And Barahina is a weak person. Parahina is a person who is useless, who may be having a lot of things but not useful to the society or to the family. He is known as Parahina. And the last person is Murka, who is totally black. So these type of people, in spite of being born fully, they are totally useless to us. So, how to get out of these things? I will complete the session with few mantras. Once uh, I want to conduct a class, class means I don't require a hall, auditorium, mic. These things are disturbances to my flow. If it is not there casually, if I have to speak, I can speak more things. Even if two persons are hearing, there are 108 mythological sequences. That's why I already told about Kundi incident, Gandhari incident, Kashyapa Prajapati incident, Devaki incident, 108 incidents and the scientific phenomena. I am uh, interested in preparing a tabulation like that, which will be very useful. Even there is a born child known as Parikshitu. And Parikshit, due to Ashwatthama's missilic attack, he was just uh, he was just like a burnt charcoal. But Krishna inspired him, he vivified him by his divine feet touch, by which he got life back. So these type of things, all divine possibilities. Huh? To make a dead person alive, alive person dead, to clone a person, to multiply a person, to bioproduce a person, heterogenetic bioproduction, a person producing a thing of a different kind, not of its own clan and kind. 108 sequences uh, I am willing to prepare it. We don't want all of them, but we can have a belief that we can get our own thing sanctioned. Just as if you see hundreds of crores of rupees in a person, we can be happy and faithful that he can give us 2,000 rupees. Thank <laughs> you. 